Good day. This is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. market for the week ending September 16th. The third triple witching of 2023 put pressure on U.S. equities with the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite booking back-to-back -back weekly losses. For the week, the Dow Jones recorded a small gain of one-tenth of a percent. The S&P 500 slipped two-tenths of a percent and the Nasdaq dropped four-tenths of a percent. Friday's witch brought an increase in volumes, but no change in volatility, as the VIX remained below 14. In the week preceding the FOMC September meeting, Treasury yields rose to their highest levels of the month. The yield on the two-year Treasury note rose 4.8 basis points, the 10-year note rose 6.4 basis points, and the 30-year bond yield climbed 8 basis points. Labor unrest raised concerns of future inflationary pressures on the economy. The U.S. dollar continued to be supported by robust U.S. economic uh, data, raising hopes that the Fed has engineered an economic soft landing. The dollar index closed the week near six-month highs. Gold prices held on to a gain for the week with the yellow metal rising two-tenths of a percent over the five trading days. Oil prices recorded a third week of gains and closed at a new 2023 high. This week, West Texas Intermediate Crude gained 3.7% and Brent climbed 3.6%. Thanks for listening and thanks for doing business with Castlestone. We'll talk to you soon.